Guess what? Today, you need to head to your favorite store, whether it's Dollar Tree, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, the garage sales, thrift stores, and pick up some frames because we are making some one-of-a-kind crafts. My name is Courtney. This is Creative on the Cheap. Let's get crafting. For this frame hack DIY, I'll be starting with one of these wooden heart frames. Now I did pick mine up from Michaels for $1. They do sell this same wooden frame at Dollar Tree for $1.25. The Dollar Tree one is a little bit thinner than this one if I remember right. So I just grabbed this one because I thought it would be better for this project. I'm going to take off the wrapping. I'm going to save that little peg leg thing um, that I'm going to be using at the end. And then I needed to decide what color I wanted to paint this. So you could paint this you could stain this whatever you want to do this is actually going to turn out to be something you can use in your craft space or you can gift it to someone who also loves to craft so what I'm doing now is I took the little heart insert that was in the frame and used that as a template to trace a heart on some cardboard I actually bought a pack of cardboard sheets because I use it when I ship packages and I'm surprised how much I'm using it I will definitely link everything from today's video down below for you so if you have any questions just check the description box once I got the heart uh, shaped to where I need it to and made sure that it would fit inside there. I grabbed some stuffing from an old pillow and started to just hot glue that down. Now you want a lot of stuffing on there. You want to make this super puffy. And once you get enough stuffing on there, you need a fabric choice. So I'm just going with the purple polka dot fabric that I had to kind of match the frame. And this fabric is going to cover over our puffy heart and we're going to be shoving it in there. So what we're making is a little pin cushion. And then we're going to kind of customize it in a minute. So what you want to do is at this point you're just it's kind of trial and error and you just kind of shove it in there see how much stuffing you need get it looking how you want trim off the extra and then I just used hot glue to kind of pull the edges of the fabric and glue it to the back of that cardboard piece once the back is all secure and the pieces are tucked, the little metal, I guess, pieces that were on the frame is all I'm using to hold this in. I did not hot glue this into the frame at all. Those little metal pieces did wonders and held it in place. I took a decal that I just went into Cricut Design Space and quickly created it. I will definitely have that link down below for you as well and applied that with some white vinyl. And then once that was done, I did attach the little peg leg thing <laughs> to the back of it so that this can kind of stand up and then I am using this pin cushion for my longer pins so I have this little hedgehog one that has shorter sewing pins on it but I've also got these butterfly pins that I picked up a while ago and I needed something I just wanted something different and I thought this would be perfect because it's pastel colors and it looks really pretty so I'm going to use that to hold these longer push pins and now you've got a cute little accessory for your craft space or even something to gift to a crafty friend. Now, I really love that last DIY, but I am stoked for this one because I have not seen anyone make anything like this. And I thought at first I was like, oh, well, you can make a little valet tray with the with the frame. And then I was like, let's make a book valet. I don't even know if that's a thing, but we're making it a thing. So you'll need a frame. This frame was from Michaels for a dollar, but Dollar Tree does have some frames like that. I'm using one of the Dollar Tree houses and then these tiny little mini books. Those are from Hobby Lobby. Now what I decided was I wanted to add a few more books to this little collection and to make the books, I'm just using Scrabble tiles and some vinyl. Now you can pick up vinyl from Dollar Tree. You certainly could use cardstock or you could even just paint little pieces of wood as well. Now the book spines, and the colors that came in that set from Hobby Lobby wasn't quite the vibe that I was going for. So I recovered some of those as well with more vinyl and just add some little, you know, features to the spines. I just used a uh, Sharpie marker just to kind of mark some of them. Some of them I left plain, no big deal. And then I had my books ready to go. Once the books were all finished and ready to go, I kind of set those aside for a little bit and started working on the frame and the house part of this book valet. So I decided to just paint this frame with some white paint. Now I did want to share my original idea in case somebody wants to do it. So I was going to paint the frame white and then get some small white fencing and put that on the inside portion of the frame, do a little mini fence, and then either find a little piece of like 
turf, green felt, something like that to make it look like it was a yard and put little flowers in there um, and truly make it kind of look like a little house with a yard. But I decided not to do that. So I decided to share that idea. Once the frame was painted white, then for the house, I popped off the back and I decided instead of painting it, it was a little bit in rough shape. I just took some really heavy duty pink cardstock that I had traced around the back piece and then just used a glue stick to attach that pink cardstock to the back of the house and then reassembled the house together. I grabbed the little books for the next step and needed to get these secured into the house. So I figured out how I kind of wanted them to be in the displayed at the bottom of the house so to speak and I just used some hot glue to get those attached then taking the insert that was in that frame I found this cute rainbow fabric at uh, Hobby Lobby and well my first attempt here I was gluing it all on there thinking everything was great and then I realized this piece is actually directional like the house is going to face out and I had my rainbows going the wrong way so I was like okay rip that off I was able to rip it off pretty successfully without damaging the little cardboard <laughs> insert and then I just re covered it again with the fabric going the right way using hot glue to get it secured and then again snapped it into that frame just using those little metal brackets on the back to hold that in place. To wrap this up I found a quote that I really like that says reading is essential for those who seek to rise above the ordinary and I just typed that into Cricut Design Space and printed it out on some gold vinyl. Now if you don't have a Cricut you certainly could use stickers here or instead of just doing the pink plain pink backing for the house go ahead and make a printable and print your quote on that piece of backing and then you'll have your quote there no problem so i got the quote applied and then the last step is because we're going to be setting a book on the little house to hold our book I wanted to make sure that this house was super sturdy on there so i'm using some of the gorilla glue clear grip um, to get this attached and then once i did that this was ready to be set on your bedside table or wherever you like to sit and read Now for this one, you can grab yourself a large frame and some stickers, or you could cut them out on Cricut if you wanted to. And what you want to do is you want to just apply your stickers to the directly to the glass and we're making a menu board. Now we want it to be clear in the background, or I'm going to show you how you can make this kind of a multi-seasonal menu board. So what I did is after the stickers were attached to the glass, I used some Gorilla Glue to make sure that that glass was glued into the frame really really well I did not use hot glue so I definitely recommend using a stronger glue and to make it multi-seasonal here you go now you could leave it plain and put it up against the wall or for the different holidays get yourself some really fun seasonal scrapbook paper and put that behind it and then you can kind of change your menu board with the seasons and since it's glass you can write on it with a dry erase marker and easily erase it and you've made yourself a cute little menu board you could make it small one for the counter or you could make a larger one that you hang up on your wall. take a frame and make a little organizer that can just help you kind of store some different things you want to start with a frame I am starting with an 8 by 10 frame and you'll want to pick out a couple of different fabrics so the first thing I did was break down the frame and then take the backing out and taking a piece of cardboard again these are those cardboard sheets that I talked about earlier in the video I traced the backing on there and got my piece of cardboard from there I wanted to cover the back with a piece of fabric so I just just used a glue stick and attached my fabric directly to the back from there we want to make two pockets and to do that you want to pick now you could do more actually you could do as many pockets as you wanted to I'm just using two um, and I took two different fabrics that I had and I first pressed the edge so that I had a nice clean crisp edge and then once I figured out where my pockets were going to go it was very easy I just started with the larger pocket and I flipped it over and just pulled the sides 
and hot glued it and then pulled the center part of the bottom, hot glued it, and then I did the corners on the bottom and hot glued that. Then I took my second piece of fabric, made a smaller pocket, did the same steps where I hot glued the sides and I then did the center on the bottom and then pulled the corners in. And then it was just popping this back into the frame. I decided to leave the frame as is. I thought about brushing it with some white paint, but decided to leave it as is. And then this will just prop up nicely. It's a great little holder for mail. You can organize it with important papers or to-do lists. So lots of options. You could even clip little notes to it as well. Just a cute little tabletop organizer for your desk. For this project, I picked up this frame from the thrift store and really liked the frame itself, but I knew I needed to pop out the back to get my project made. So to do that, I realized I had to kind of cut the back and I guess originally it came from Hobby Lobby. That's why I was pointing at that. Um, but I cut the back, popped off the back. And then once I got that done, there were these little metal nails in there that I did need to pull those out as well. So I just used my pliers to do that. And I grabbed some of my black hooks and then for this, I marked where I wanted my hooks to go. So I decided I wanted to make a really cute key holder that I could just hang up on the wall. And I just kind of marked where I wanted them to go. And I was able to screw these in. I just used my awl tool and poked a hole and the wood was soft enough that I was able to just screw those uh, hooks in very, very easily. I did debate for about 2.5 seconds whether or not I wanted to put the back back on and I decided to go ahead and do it. So I'm just using white cardstock, tracing around the back and using a glue stick to get that cardstock attached. And then I use some hot glue to reattach the back. From there, I just quickly made two quick little decals that said his and hers. Now, originally I was gonna run these stickers going from the bottom to the top kind of vertically um, and put the his and her stickers that way. But then I ended up doing it horizontally and I, I, I don't know, I'm not quite sure, honestly. I do like the whole frame and I might just pop off the back and just kind of have it against the wall with the whole kind of friends TV vibe with the frame, you know? But um, I do like this frame and I do like that it holds keys. So I'll have to kind of tweak it and see, but I'll let you know if I update it. And that is going to wrap up these frame DIYs. Let me know down below which one of these projects was your favorite. Also let me know, have you made a frame DIY? I would love to hear all about it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Here are some more videos you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.